Okay, let's get started. Welcome to Industrial Robot Technology Foundation and uh, Application. In Industrial Robot Technology Foundation, we are going to really cover the foundations of robotics. This class, we will get an introduction of the robotics. The idea about robotics was basically captured by this image. You have a robot working in an isolated environment in a manufacturing plant, mowing scenes, pick and place, mowing from one location to another without any interaction with the humans. This is a typical example of the use of industrial robot uh, workstation. But robotics over the years involved, and today robotics is in many different areas of application. From robots working with a surgeon to operate on a human, to robots assigning workers to carry a heavy load, to robots in entertainment, to robots in many different fields. And uh, this is what is really exciting about robotics. The fact that robotics is uh, getting closer and closer to the human. That is we are using the robot now to carry, to lift, to work, to extend the hands of the human through haptic interaction. You can feel a virtual environment or a real environment. I'm not sure if everyone knows what haptics is. Haptics is a Greek word that describes the sense of touch and uh, form haptics. Here are hands of a surgeon, and the surgeon is uh, still operating. So he is operating from outside, but essentially the robot is inserted and uh, instead of opening the body, we have a small incision through which we introduce the robot, and then we do the operating and the recovery is amazing. A few days of recovery and the patient is out of the hospital. The operation through habitics or through master device are to control. He is the surgeon working far away, operating under water or interacting with a physical environment in homes or in factory. Another interesting thing about robotics is that because robotics focuses on articulated body systems, we are able now to use all of these models and uh, technologies to model human and uh, to create a digital model of human that can be uh, simulated and uh, controlled to reproduce actual behavior captures from motion capture device about uh, human behavior. Also, with this interaction that we are creating with the physical world, the most exciting are in robotics is reproduction device robots that look like human and behave like live animals or humans. This you could see Atmo here. 
which is the latest in a series of development. And in addition, you could see most of the major players in home-made robotics. Has anyone seen this one? This is a Sony robot. Let's see if uh, it works. The Sony uh, is balancing on a moving bar, and uh, this is not an easy task. Uh, you can image the requirements in real-time control and uh, dynamic modeling, and all aspects of this. This was accomplished a few years ago. There are a lot of different robots as packaged in Asia, Japan, and Korea. I built a series of robots, HPR, HPR1, and HPR2. And they are building and developing more capabilities for those robots. This is HPR2. HPR2 is working. Working is not well mastered. But the problem is how can we move to a position, take an object, and control the interaction with the physical world? Uh, this is more challenging. Oh, let me know what you think about this one. Uh, so, what do you think? Uh, this is an interesting example of how we can extend the capabilities of humans with an exoskeleton system. You wear it and you become a superman or superwoman. And uh, you can carry heavy uh, loads. You will demonstrate here carrying, I believe, uh, 60 kilograms without feeling any weight because everything is taken by the structure of the exoskeleton uh, system uh, you are wearing. Uh, another interesting one is this. Uh, one from Tokyo uh, Institute of Technology. It is a swimming robot, uh, so uh, make sure no water gets into the motors. The scene is robotics uh, is getting closer and closer to the human. And uh, as we see, a uh, robot getting closer to humans, we are facing a lot of challenges in really making these machines work in the unstructured matter environment of the human. Now, you need to deal with many issues, including the fact that you need safety, like this guard bar gives some protection from the robot. You need safety to create the, that interaction and uh, this distance between the human and the robot is very well justified. You don't want uh, yet to bring the robot very close to the human because these machines are not yet quite safe. When we were manufacturing plants, the problem was much simpler. Well, the development in robotics has many forms and uh, aspects. We have a problem here. Do we need robots to have the perfect appearance of humans? Or do we need the functionalities of the environment? If we are working with trees, we specialize the robots to cut trees. If we are working in the human environment, then we will have a robot that has the functionalities of two arms. 
the mobilities, the vision capabilities. So there are very interesting issues to think about whether we need to have robot biologically based or functionally based and how we can create those interactions in a effective way. So the industry robots in the enterprise often designed based on functional requirements so that we can acquire lower cost and more practical. Uh, next time we carry on with more typicals on the industry robots. Uh, that's all for today's class. Thank you.